Hey, James and Zach here from Denali Well. Here we are with our 2000 watt Denali Well Jet. It's our air cooled model. Today we're going to be welding some customer parts. So today we got some 18 gauge stainless. Um, we're going to do some different type of applications like outside corners, inside corners, some flat runs as well, maybe some seam welds. And we can give you a look down here at our settings before we get into that. So. This part will cut out of the video. Right? <laughs> All right, so today for our settings that we're going to be running, we got laser power of 600 watts, laser frequency of 1,000 hertz, PWM or pulse width modulation 100%, wobble frequency at 80 hertz with a wobble width of 2 millimeters, and our wire feed speed is going to be at half an inch per second. All right, let's get into it. doing there James? Right now I'm just making sure that our laser is in line with the filler metal so you have a proper weld. So James, looking at this weld right here, what are you looking for to identify that this is a good weld, that this is good penetration, that we got good heat on this weld? So after the weld, you're really looking for the color of your weld. And you can also on the inside of the part, on this part in particular, you'll be able to see your penetration in there just to verify that you did penetrate that joint. With laser welding, you're not really following a puddle. It's a matter of getting your settings set right and then letting the machine do most of the work for you. Great. And how, how can some of those settings help us in an outside corner joint? Is there anything specific that we'd want to change? Or is there anything we'd want to leave alone in an outside corner application? In the outside corner applications, you're going to want to turn your wattage down maybe 200 watts from what you would typically run on, say, a T-joint, just to verify because you do have an open root in there that you're going to want to be able to not over-penetrate that joint and just be able to fill it up. Sounds good. So I can see here that we're running a very low wattage, about 500 that's really ideal for these thinner applications like 18, 20 gauge, things like that, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Those thinner, thinner gauge applications, they don't require a lot of wattage, just getting the machine tuned in and ready to run on them. Sounds good. Zach, so what are you looking at for the right application, right joint configuration for laser welding? So with laser, it is a little bit more specific than most general welding. Um, really, the size of the gap that you can fill is about the size of your wire. So in this case, we're running 035, so an 035 gap. 
So really an ideal joint for what we're doing would be something like this. You can see we got good fit up, minimal gap in there. On this outside corner here, we have a, both lands that we can kind of set that wire in and we're able to follow this corner all the way through. So you wanna go ahead and grab the gun there, James? We can kind of show them that real quick. So if you see here on camera, when you set that wire in there, in that, in that joint, it's gonna follow along these two legs of that joint. And because of that, you basically don't have to adjust your angle or anything while you're welding and it can just push you all the way through that corner. Moving on to our next part here, we got a tank assembly. We're gonna be doing some outside seam welds here on this top. We're looking for full penetration, but we, we don't want any burning through. We're looking for an overall good heat, heat input on this part, so. Right, it's gonna be a multi-piece assembly, so you'll see a bunch of different welding applications with the laser throughout this assembly piece. Okay, right. cool. All right, watch your eyes. Just finished up welding these sample parts for a customer. I think they turned out great. You can see here we got some good welds on here. Not too hot, a little bit of bluing on there. 
We did a longer seam weld run and we also did some spot welds on these inside rails. But overall, as you can see, we got great penetration on these, great coverage on that corner, no undercut, nothing like that. So feel free if any guys at home, you need some parts welded up, you're looking for a demonstration, come visit the website, www.denaliweld.com. You can find our office number on there and give us a call. We can get your parts welded up. We'll give you a quote. We'll get you guys set up. Thanks again. And me and James hope to see you guys next time.